Boston, CBS slash AP, Michelle Wu was the top vote getter in a runoff election for the next mayor of Boston, with fellow city councilor Anissa S. A. B. George finishing second to become her opponent in the November 2nd election. Wu maintained a consistent large lead in Tuesday's preliminary balloting as the vote counting went well into Wednesday morning. Check, Boston preliminary election results as of 10 a.m. Wednesday. The Associated Press called the race as unofficial results from the city's website showed 100% of precincts reporting. Wu had 33, 36% of the vote and city councilor S.A.B. George was second with 22, 48%. City councilor Andrea Campbell was third with 19, 72%, just ahead of acting mayor Cam Jamie Hoof finished fourth with 19, 47%. Janie and Campbell both conceded late Tuesday night. The race is over, S.A.B. George told WBZ-TV Wednesday morning. We're confident in these results. We're confident in our finish in this race and we're excited to participate in this next half of this campaign. Read, Keller at large, what to expect from Wu, S.A.B. George race all four are candidates of color, as is John Barros. Boston's former economic development chief and the only man in common, Barros trailed well behind the four women with just 3%. History has already been made in a city that has never elected a woman, black resident or Asian American as mayor. For the past 200 years, the office has been held by white men. This is a moment in Boston where we are facing big challenges. I'm running for mayor to tackle big challenges with bold solutions that include everyone. So I know what's possible. Wu told reporters at the Forest Hills MBTA stop Wednesday morning. SAB George said Tuesday night she'd won enough support to challenge Wu in November. Excited to be here today and certainly continue my work right now in my capacity as an at-large city councillor, but looking forward to this next six weeks, this work around the campaign. I'm looking forward to leading this city, she told reporters while greeting voters at a diner in the South End Wednesday morning. Watch. Keller at large, what went wrong for Kim Jamie? Earlier this year, Jamie became the first black Bostonian and first woman to occupy the city's top office in an acting capacity after former Mayor Marty Walsh stepped down to become President Joe Biden's Labor Secretary. I want to congratulate Michelle Wu and Anissa S.A.B. George on their big Tory. This was a spirited and historic race, and I wish them both luck in the final election. There had been an effort among some leaders in the black community to rally around a single candidate to ensure that at least one black mayoral hopeful could claim one of the two top slots. All of the candidates are Democrats. Mayoral races in Boston do not include party primaries. The candidates hail from a range of backgrounds, 